Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskey. And once again, I have something very exotic. Kilbegan! Well, you, everyone knows Kilbegan. Come on, that's the old bottle design and so on. No, this is something special. I filled this bottle up myself at the old Kilbegan distillery in Ireland. Is a seven year old single malt cast strength 56.6% ABV bottled on July 18th, 2018. So, watch the video of me doing it. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> a sneaky taste. Yeah, a sneaky taste. Why exactly. Not? So there's nothing like this anywhere, not in our shop on site, not at the airport, not in any <laughs> specialty whiskey shops, only on this tour at this time of the day. And then the other close way of getting the sample of this is in our home brand, the Cobagan Blend. And then the, the next release will be hopefully a full size bottle of whatever age it will be. We don't know as of yet. Yeah. That will be up to the master blender and co to decide that in due course. Put them out there. Okay. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, hopefully that was a fun watching me fill up my bottle. I had a lot of fun. Now, if you ever are in Kilbegan, please go there. Uh, Tullamadu or Tullamore is to the south. Kilbegan is to the north. They're about 12 minutes apart from each other. No biggie. Um, they have an, I would just call it a working museum. So, um, this was actually founded in 1757. This is older than the United States of America. That's when this distillery was founded. There was a water wheel, and this water wheel turned, and actually it turned the shaft, and the shaft turned the little cogs, and the little cogs turned the, the, the mash tun, and everything else. It's just operated because of the power from that water wheel back in the day. Before we had electricity, that's the way things were done. Uh, 1843, uh, a man, a family named Lox, L-O-C-K-E-X-E-S, actually bought it. That's why it's called the Lox Distillery today. If you go there, the big chimney still has the word Lox on it, and some of the old ceramic cast from Kilbegan still has the word Lox on it. Um, they bought it, but unfortunately, in 1957, they had to close down the distillery. A demand was just not there. Um, it did not meet the quality standards, and it just was not uh, uh, profitable to make whiskey with a water wheel. <laughs> there is a steam engine actually there. They actually fire it up once a month. There's a nice little tiny um, crew of old people that have formed a club around the steam engine of the old Kilbegan distillery. Now, on... In the 1990s, if I got my information right, it might have been the late 80s, uh, John Teeling, he, of course, started the first uh, independent distillery in Ireland. He took an old potato converting vodka making distillery and um, refitted it so that it could actually make single malt, single pot still, as well as single grain whiskey. And he wanted to um, rejuvenate some of these old brands. The Tour Canel brand that we know from Cooley is actually up by Derry. The, the, the distillery was destroyed, um, but the brand name continued. Uh, Kilbegan he bought, he received actually with that purchase, not just the brand rights, but also the distillery and an old warehouse, where he, which he started using almost immediately. And then uh, for the 250th anniversary of the distillery in 2007, they reopened the distillery as a museum um, with tour guides. And, and this is the important thing, they actually soon after that started producing their own whiskey. They have a pot still from the early 18, um, 1900s. 
Um, amazing, the oldest pot still in use in the world. Now, how can that be? I asked Tracy, my tour guide, and she said, well, we were lucky. First of all, it wasn't used very often. I said, well, even if it wasn't used very often, when you distill uh, spirits, you actually remove layer for layer, especially during cleaning, from your copper. And she said, well, it was used for distilling water, not spirits, and therefore it was actually almost in pristine condition. Um, the, that's the wash still, the spirit still is um, a little bit much newer, and so it's double distilled, which you will find in Ireland a lot. And they actually started producing that here seven years ago, 2018, 2000, and um, in this case, 11. So this was produced 2011, distilled, put in an X beam barrel, beam Santori, and um, now we have the liquid. The only problem I have here. Um, 22 euros, a lot of money for 0 0.2, 25 euros for 0 0.2. So if you actually do the math for a whole liter, you're, you're paying up 125 euros, which is about $150 per liter. Uh, so it's a $75 um, ha uh, half liter bottle, a lot of money. And this is something that's not going to be in the market yet. They're going to wait maybe 10 so it's 10 year old, maybe even 12 year old, who knows, we'll see. They produce it on site, they store it on site, and we'll see, they'll actually bottle it someplace else, I'm sure of that. Okay, seven years old, it's cast strength 56.6%. It doesn't really smell that wonderful. I get a lot of the skin of the walnut, a lot of bitterness, a lot of, um, a lot of tannins, a lot of wood. Now this is very unusual because it's an ex-bourbon cask. It was used for um, for Jim Beam product. I'll just nip on it. Wow. And it's not the, the hot it's not the the pepper it's just those tannins that that wood um ah, it's even metallic it's just so young and not really my cup of tea now if i put a lot of water in it, it gets much much smoother but yet it's still not where it could or should be after seven years dingle three years old one day smooth wonderful great spirit seven years twice as old yeah, still not where it should be. I would actually say they have the cuts wrong. Um, the heads were okay. They they let the tails run way too long, in my personal opinion. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, a lot of those tails in there. It's just not the wood because the whole time I'm just sitting here going, it can't be the wood. It can't be the wood. It's just a dumb bourbon barrel. It's the tails. Wow. All right. Yep, that's the problem. All right. So, put a lot of water in it. Yeah, I got it down to about 30. I got it hopefully down around 40, 42%. Mm -mm. Still not my cup of tea. It's it's actually No, it's still not accommodating. You can see my face just... No, 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 no. So this is a souvenir gag. Um, now, <laughs> I'm just going to think out loud for the next two minutes. I'm the master distiller at the new Kilbagan Boutique Distillery. I'm going to have one tour a day from April to October, 1.30 from November to March 12 o'clock. You pay more, you get to see the stills, you get to see the warehouse, and you have the opportunity to actually fill up this bottle. So 0 0.2 of a 200 liter bottle means I can actually pull out 2,000 bottles. Let's say I only do 1,500 because of the angel share. Now, what cask am I going to choose? Am I going to choose the worst cask or the best cask? 
I, Whiskey Jason, because this is a type of marketing, would pick the best honey barrel I can find. So that everyone that tries this looks forward to the whiskey we're going to have in the future. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure they did that. And if they did do that, the real question is, what are the other barrels like? Are they actually worse? <gasps> oh no, I can hardly believe that, that they're actually worse than this. Um, I hope, I do not think an additional three to five years is going to really make this whiskey become fabulous. It will help. So what do they need to do? They need to start finishing this. The Tucanel 10-year-old is a sherry, a port, and a Madeira finish. They just brought out a 15-year-old um, Tucanel um, finish. So that's the family, Cooley. Let's do something different. Why don't we do a Muscatel? Why don't we do a um, Brandy? Why don't we do a um, Mazala? Why don't we do maybe um, Zoltan? That's giving a little bit of the fruity notes that's missing here. And the last thing I think I can say is I hope they learn from their mistakes. And I hope they're actually making the heart cut a little bit sooner. Because I think I, I'm, that those tails are just a little bit too much towards the end. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. My question of the day is what is your favorite Cooley product? Is it a Connemara? Is it a Turconel? Is it a Kilbagan? What is it? For me, it would be the Turconel 16-year-old. Mm -mm, good. So, thank you very much for watching. Videos come out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. See you then. Whiskey Jason here. Bye-bye.